Okay, so... Um... Here, I'll, I'll just... I'll open up my monitor capture really quick. This is boring anyway. I don't really need to practice my fucking aim. Alright. So... The best way I can explain this is through visual example. Alright, so... I did this run, LEGO 2, and then I stopped playing for a while because I, I was playing ESEA. And my season kind of fell apart. I ended up leaving my team. I got on a new team, left that team because they were... The first team I left because of, like, just scheduling conflicts. And then the second team I left because they were awful. And then after that, my, my season kind of fell apart. So I said, you know what, fuck this, I'm just going to go back to B-Hop. I did this run. Oh, and just for just for reference, everything with my body, wrists and everything, was completely fine. I did have a little bit of tendonitis in my wrists, but that's something I've had for years when I was doing some of my older runs. But even when I did this run, my arm was fine. And then I took on the challenge of doing cute kittens. And why is that a problem? Because... If you look at the turns in this area, right here, this whole area, you notice I do very fast flick turns, and I play on a really low sensitivity for most bee hoppers, so it's a, it's a lot of flicking, and then just a lot of really wide movements on my arm over and over again. These flicks, and then there's more flicks here, like super fast 180 flicks, which is like half my fucking mouse pad, my giant mouse pad. So, after doing that, like hundreds of times, I started realizing, like, my shoulder's kind of hurting. But I didn't care, because I, I was too ignorant. I, I didn't, I never had experienced anything like this, and. I've always, it was kind of, when I had my wrist pains, I always just was like, whatever. I'll just play through it, it doesn't matter. So I took the same idea for when I started getting shoulder pains, and by the time I finished running this map, it my shoulder pains had become so intense that it was literally physically painful for me to play this map. And, but it was just my shoulder, so I took a little bit of time off, and then, which is why there's a pretty big gap between these two runs. I took a little bit of time off, and then I went back to running Arcane. And this was like the last map that I left unfinished from my planned routes. Even when I was running Ski 10 months ago, I was still working on this map, and I didn't get it till five months ago, so. And that was a mistake. I should have never played through the pain I should have realized that pain is literally my body's way of telling me what I'm doing is bad. And But I started running this map, and I just wanted it so bad that that could not come between me and getting this run. And there was a day where I failed this part, I think. Where is it? I failed this part like for the sixth run in a row on stream. And I just, I literally took my headset off and threw it at the ground and turned my stream off. And the next day, um, what you would have noticed if you had been watching my stream is that after I'd, every single time I'd restart, I would have take like these 30 second breaks before I started doing another run. And that was because I was, my shoulder was in so much pain that I was stretching. Um, I was just stretching my shoulder to be able to relieve some of that pain, to even just be able to keep playing. And that day after I turned my stream off, I woke up the next morning and I played this map for 12 straight hours. And that is probably why I just cannot bunny hop anymore. I fucked up my arm so bad it's actually ridiculous. By the time I was done at that 12 hour stint, not only had I not gotten the run, but I was getting pains not just in my shoulder, but in my bicep, my elbow, my forearm, my wrist, and my fingers. Literally every single part of my arm was just in a massive amount of pain. And like, I was not streaming, I, and, but I was in TeamSpeak 
I was in Mumble with a runner named Jehoshaphat, and I literally just, I was just defeated. I was just running the map endlessly and just saying, it fucking hurts so much, it hurts. I, that, I don't know, I'm just fucking insane, I guess, because there's no logical reason retrospectively why I should have done that. And then the next day, I turned on my stream, and I like had decided in my head if I did not get it today, I just would not be able to keep playing the game because it hurt so fucking much. And then I did. I got it the next day, and then I just immediately quit. I just, after I did that run, I just quit instantly. That's why I just said, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. See you later. I turn off my stream, and I never stream B-Hop again. And now, even if I go back to play Bunny Hop at all, I get some pretty fucking bad pains just even after like half an hour and so I really just it all started right here though I think if I had never done this run I would have never had to deal with any of this uh, RSI issues with my arm or anything so just you know I made a mistake. I hope that's a fucking lesson to everybody that if you're doing something, especially if you play rhythm games like Os or Os, I guess it's pronounced, just so I don't offend anybody. <laughs> or if you're playing anything that has repetitive motion like B hop, you're strafing like this. You know, it's a pretty. This is like realistic motion because of how low my senses in game. Um, be really careful. Stretch a lot. Take a lot of breaks. If you feel any pain, stop. Just stop. And just don't fucking make the same mistake I did and end your career in something well too early. The biggest mistake I ever fucking made, to be honest. <sighs> but yeah. On the bright side, I can still play some games. Let me, let me add a little.